Hello guys, it's Amber and this is going to be a supplement video to my 2014 vanity tour. I got to thinking after I uploaded that because I showed you guys what I pulled out as far as the orchid trend. If you haven't checked out that video, see the description box below. I will put in a link to that video. Um, but I got to thinking after I put it up that I need to also show you guys what I carry along in my purse because I do reapply my lip products during the day. I'm starting to apply face products because now that it's getting a little bit warmer, I need to do those things. And so in the future, go on and plan on for each seasonal vanity tour that I show you guys, I'm also going to have an additional what I carry in my um, purse cosmetic bag. Um, so you can see kind of what I carry along with me. If you're looking to rotate your own products or if you're, you know, if you got the itch to go shopping and you want inspiration for some new things. So um, let's go on and get started. The makeup bag that I've been carrying in my purse is a Vera, Vera Bradley. Let's see if I can talk today. Um, a Vera Bradley cosmetic case. It's just a typical zip top case. What I like about this is it has a flap on the front with a mirror. And all I keep inside that pocket are bobby pins and a microfiber cloth to clean my glasses. If you like this particular makeup style bag, you're going to need to look on Amazon or eBay because shame on Vera Bradley, but they no longer carry this in their retail stores or online. So I really like this style. That is a huge bummer that they've discontinued this particular one. So if you want like the flap vanity case, you need to look online. But the makeup bag is not important now, is it? So let's get into what I carry. Um, the first thing that I've started carrying, again, because now that it's getting a little bit warmer, I live near Houston. Sorry, my husband's phone. But <clears throat> I live near Houston, and it does get crazy hot in the summer. I do need to worry about more shine and sweating because going in and out of air conditioning, the hot sun. So I have chosen to start carrying, again, the CoverGirl Advanced Radiance Pressed Powder and Creamy Natural. It looks like so... This is not a bad powder, but it's not a great powder. I mean, it's just, it's kind of like, I'm using it because I have it, but I'm not, it's not holy grail for me by any standards. Um, what I do with this though, <clears throat> is I go over with the powder puff, and if I have any hormonal breakouts, I go on and use the powder puff to touch those up. I go around my nose because I tend to get red, and then if I have to touch up under my concealer, I go on and touch up like this. And then I always carry a Bare Minerals foundation brush. You can find these at any Ulta, Sephora, or um, Bare Minerals boutique locations. I swirl it in the powder and then buff the rest of my face to make sure everything is nice and blended. So if you're looking for a nice like pressed powder, this does do the job. I mean, it's not bad. It's just not holy grail. Um, it does claim that it won't clog your pores. It does claim that it's smoothing. I wouldn't put it 100% that it does all those things, but it is nice, and I like the packaging. It's just very classy pulling it out of your makeup bag. So, I mean, I try it out. Try it out. I also have, like, the Maybelline, um, whatever the new powder is. Um, God, you know what I'm talking about. It's, like, just came out of the market. Um, I have that too, but I decided to go on and use this because I've had this for a little bit. But I haven't had to use it in the winter because MAC Fix Plus is, has done the job for me. But I want to make sure that just in case I've got my bases covered if I do get shiny during the day. So, And then as far as my lip products, the combo that I'm wearing currently is what I carry in my purse. And I started off with the Rimmel Lip Liner, the Exaggerate Lip Liner, and the Color Enchantment. It's a real pretty berry mauve. I'm kind of over these Rimmel lip liners because they're drying. They're very drying. And I don't wear a ton, but if you put this on, it's not doing it as noticeably on my hand, but when I put it on my lips, it feathers really bad. Like I get chunks of product in the middle of my lips and I don't like that at all. So, um, I'm just using it up right now. Like I'm replacing my my um, Rimmel lip liners with the Urban Decay 24-7 liners and I know they're more expensive, but I love the finish of them. They're creamier, I can sharpen them. I have to admit I like them better than these. So um, 
This is really pretty. I, I line my lips with this and then I go through and I fill in the center of them. But like I said, I'm just trying to get this out of the way. And then what I use on top of it is my favorite lipstick of all time. It is CoverGirls 335 Embrace. I know you've heard me talk about this. This is the Drugstore Dupe to Max Rebel. The general consensus on a color like this, like if you buy MAC Rebel or if you buy the CoverGirl Embrace, this is a universally flattering shade. It doesn't matter how fair or how deep your skin tone is, this is going to work for you. It has enough blue in it that it doesn't matter how you know much of a coffee addict you are, if you like to eat a lot of strawberries, your teeth are going to look really white with a color like this. So if you're looking for punchy colors, you don't have to wear it as vampy as you think. If you want a sheer wash of color, just kind of pat it onto your lips. I prefer to wear it in all of its vampy glory because I like in your face lip colors, but this is definitely worth trying out. And this is CoverGirl's Embrace. Um, if you want the high-end alternative, if you don't want to go the MAC route, Urban Decay Revolutionary Lipstick and Venom is pretty spot on to this. So love, love, love this color. This is beneficial no matter, you know, what your hair color, your eye color, your skin tone, this is going to work well for you. So highly, highly recommend this. And then on top, I'll go on and link in the product descriptions below if you're interested in picking any of these up or if you got the itch to go shopping, um, <clears throat> whether it's your stash or the store or whatnot. Um, I believe this is the Maybelline Color Sensational Gloss. Again, I'll look it up just to make sure. This is in the shade Raspberry Reflections. I popped this in the center of my lips on top of the Embrace lip color. This is absolutely stunning to wear. I love this combo of these three. And again, it's what I'm currently wearing. This is my fail safe. Like I know it's gonna work. Very flattering for me easy to wear and it works well with this orchid trend that's going on right now. So these three together, if you want yet another option on top of what I showed you in my 2014 vanity tour, I love these three together. And then I got thinking because I've been watching your project pan videos and a lot of you have pulled out Revlon lip butters and I went, you know, I haven't pulled mine out in a while. Let's go on and cycle a couple through my purse. Um, because I don't necessarily put them on like first thing in the morning, but just to like touch up in the car, they're great. So I picked out two. The first one is in number 75 or Lollipop. Just a real pretty bright pink color. It's not necessarily the orchid trend, um, but it works well with my mint um, and look, I um, cannot talk today. The mint and purple eyeshadow I used from the Urban Decay Naked Palette Hustle. It looks like Maybelline Color Vivids and Hot Plum if you want more of a balm. Does that make sense? Yes. So this is a lollipop from the Revlon Lip Butters. I really like it. Very easy, wearable. Again, if you're not into bright lipsticks, try these lip butters out because this is a good way to kind of test try, you know, more intense shades without having to really commit to that color because they don't stain your lips. So this is lollipop. And the other one that I chose to pull out right now is number 10 in Raspberry Pi. Again, another, this is more red, but again, it works with the mint and hustle look that I've been project panning. So here is Raspberry Pi. I really, really like this. Again, very wearable, but it's bright enough for me because the mint and purple look I'm wearing right now, like it sounds crazy, but like when I wear it, it's actually very neutral. I can I can pair quite a bit of lipstick options on top. I'm not limited to just one color family. So um, this is what I've chosen for right now. And then that's it for my lip products. But the other things that I carry in my makeup bag at all times, I always pick up um, an Altoid small tin of some, you know, whatever flavor I happen to pick up first. This one's a Nordic Mint. Not too fond of these, but I'm going to go on and, you know, finish them off. And then the other thing that I love, I always have to buy the huge package of these. Um, but it's the Breath Savers Peppermint Mints, like candy ones. Oh, 
I love these. Absolutely love these. And then that's about it. So those are the things that I carry in my purse. Go on and stay tuned. I've got Wear to Waitlist Wednesday coming up tomorrow with some fun things to show you guys. And then within the next couple of days, I have a Project Pan update. So get excited because I am. I made it through uh, some more stuff. And so got a lot coming up. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. And I will see you within the next couple of days for more videos. So go on and subscribe if you're not subscribed. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you next time. Bye.